and welcome to this episode of Bernadette TV. Today we're talking about how to bounce back from disappointment in business. Um, if there was one thing that I really wish I could do for my clients, it would be to protect them from the emotional disappointment that can go along with running any business, let's face it, not just an online business. And it does appear to me, in my 20 years plus of being in business, it does appear to me that there is a skill which is quite important to develop of emotional resilience. And it basically is how um, you handle disappointment in business or how you respond when things don't go as expected and how you bounce back from that. Now, I would like to think that this is a skill that I've developed over the years. And certainly if I contrast um, setbacks and disappointments that I might encounter today in business and how quickly I'm able to recover from that compared to um, an early disappointment that I had in my very first year of business where I'd invested a whole lot of um, time and money and energy and heart, honestly, into a project that didn't work out. And I can remember the crushing feeling of disappointment when it didn't turn out. And, and honestly, it set me back for days or even weeks, I would say, before I'd really fully bounced back from that. So one of the things uh, to do to bounce back from disappointment is to just keep your expectations in check in the first place. So one of the when I've observed people being really disappointed, it's because they're working on something, whether it's a project or a product launch or you know a new business, and they're pinning everything on it. So they're attaching a whole heap of meaning, which is much more than I'm bringing this product to market. So this will be the thing that finally proves to all the people around me that I can be successful. This will be the thing that makes up for all those past disappointments. This will finally be the thing or the one that makes better or, or you know, all of the setbacks I've had, pre have had previously. So if you're pinning those kind of hopes on the outcome of a project, do you see how you're actually, you're really in emotionally investing in a way that probably isn't helpful to you? Um, I will say in all my years of being online and marketing that just about everything we do is a test. And so um, I really don't bank on anything. There's certain things that I know I can do with, you know, with certainty, but sometimes things don't always go to plan. The marketplace is constantly changing and in flux. And I don't think there's anybody uh, in, in business who would say that they have all of the answers. Uh, you know, and I, I mastermind with a lot of successful business people. So the next thing to think about is if you have had a disappointment is what do you need to do for yourself to, to, to bounce back? Maybe you do need to take time out. Maybe you need to um, go and share and be heard by people who really believe in you. This is one of the reasons I think it's important to be in a community or in a mastermind because the other people in that community can be your believing eyes when you doubt yourself. Probably one of the nicest compliments I've ever received from clients is when they say, thank you, Bernadette, because you believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself. So make sure that you are staying connected, that you're in a community of ideally people who will support you and love you and raise you back up um, and steer clear. And we all know who they are in our life of those people that will say, I told you so. Well, what did you expect? I said all along that wasn't going to work. You do not need uh, to deal with that when you are, you know, licking your wounds and recovering from a disappointment. So um, I hope that this has helped you. Um, you know, there's no quick answer here. Um, but I hope if you can relate to this video um, or, you know, you've experienced a disappointment that it has offered you something. And I'd love to hear more from you. Please share your comments in the chat below. Tell me um, your tips for bouncing back from disappointment in business. Or um, if you, uh, you know, if you've encountered a disappointment, share it here. We'd love to know more. So you can do all of that in the uh, chat below. And I look forward to seeing you again on an episode of Bernadette TV. If you like this video and you want more, the good news is I got plenty more where that came from. The first step for you, see that button down there? Big red button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.